<laughs> yes. Alright, what's up guys? Today we are on the PB playing Yon, and this is going to be a special video. We're doing a 1v5 challenge against 5 gold players versus 1 challenger player, which is me. Supposed to be the best Yon in the world, have the most games on him, so yeah. This is going to be a really hard video. I'm not sure if Yon can 1v5. I know I could easily do it with the Osfo, but yeah, let's see how it goes with Yon. Pretty excited. It's going to be actually a really hard challenge. And the only rules is that there are no rules. Oh, this guy's a smurf, actually. Ow, wow, that's a lot of damage. <clears throat> uh, we want to play really safe the first few levels. Yon's level 1 to 2 is very, very bad, actually. One of the worst out of any champ in the game, especially against ranged champions. Wanna skill W second. Also, we went Conqueror because, you know, it's a 1v5, so we want the extra damage. Nice, we dodged it. We want the extra damage, it's just, if you don't have fleet in laning phase, his laning phase is a lot worse. So. I don't want to take Conqueror for the 1v9 potential. That's a really good trade. Maybe look to kill him once it bounces back. What? That has not hit me. It's the E to block the damage. Ah, you actually can't do that on this champ. Fuck. Yo, it's okay we baited him in. We just, uh, grief the flash on purpose. Give him false confidence. Really, really, really good challenger move. But yeah, I thought you could like move your flash if you Q forward, like Q flash. But apparently you can't do that with him. We know that now. I do not hunt to kill. A really, really good start. We're gonna need to get like at least two to three solo kills to make this challenge possible. Here. A 1v5 always has to start with a good laning phase. Also, their champions are pretty too hard. They have no tanks, they're all assassins, but this means that they can kill me very, very easily. For trade. But yeah, that's basically how you play Yone. In the laning phase, 3 6, you just want to get your third Q, E in, get some damage, your poke, and then once they're like at this HP, actually kill them. Get level 5. I don't mind the E. He's dead here for sure. Nice. Really good start, really good start. Surprisingly, I haven't been ganked yet. I'm not sure what Evelyn's doing. I mean, he is playing Evelyn, so Champ doesn't really do anything until level 6, so maybe he's just power farming. I, I'm gonna back get my Berserker Greaves, so that's when this champion is actually really strong. I don't really want to go for 2v1s, so I get my core. Yeah, we are pretty strong now. We want to go back mid, kill mid, and then probably go back to bot lane. Because bot lane is. It doesn't have. The turret played, or not the turret playing, but the fortified. So they kill bot tower the, the hardest. We're just gonna kill Swain one more time, hopefully, and then go straight bot lane. You gotta get ganked. Be really good. I wanna get a 2v1. Really good damage. 
the third Q. It may looks like it may have looked like I missed the ulti, but I'm not trying to hit the ulti there. I know I don't need to hit the ulti because I'm eating from here, and all I'm doing there is just closing the distance, just so I can get to auto range. So I just auto Q through him at W. Like I'm not trying to hit the ulti there. But it doesn't matter in that situation. Ah, uh, this back is pretty bad. You can only go double dagger here. I think with like this champion, he's more burst oriented, so you kind of want to be F sword early. So it's not like Yasuo where you go Berserker gives double dagger. You don't really. It feels awkward. Because then you don't really have burst on the champion. But that's all we have, so we have to. Now we want to defend bot tower. It's getting pretty low. Maybe we can catch Yasuo. Probably not. Going for the dragon. Interesting. Don't have ulti. Don't think I could take 1v3. Oh, he's coming. This might be bad. I don't have ulti. Fuck, well, Kali 6 actually. This could be pretty bad. I think they could have committed on me, to be honest. I didn't have ulti, Kali 6 is pretty disgusting. Actually, just camping in the bush. Blasted him with the ignite, wait for it to run out. I'm just gonna ulti away. Nice, it's really good. I accidentally put another point W there. It's not the end of the world. Nice. Flash away from the charm. Get the double ulti. Really, really nice. Alright, we're playing this very, very well at the moment. The wave. More wave. Back, and I'll show you what we do with the build. It's uh, very unexpected what we do, actually. we stay. Please don't stop my back. Please no sir. I can't kill him so yes, it's really annoying. Good. Actually mm, in this scenario we have perfect gold for PD so it's probably for the best that we just go PD. If we had like 1800 gold there I would just sell the Doran's Blade, get a zeal, and then go BF Sword. But if we have literally perfect gold to get PD like we may as well just get it for the best. Because we're 6 and 0 early, there's still 5 people and I'm one person, so still really hard. Ooh, we're trying to sneak this, I see. Nice. Give me that leash. Yeah, I knew he was on this. It's really important that I get this. No, please! Oh, that would have been really bad. I am dead here. I'm looking a little dead. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't have ulti. I think that's fine. I think that's really fine, though. I just really need to get the Herald. If they get Herald, they could have snowballed the win on me and just get mid-tower so fast. I think it's actually worth dying for that. Just unfortunate. If I had ulti, I may have been able to outplay it, but yeah. It is what it is. Take those. Gotta go for the objective. Man, this is actually so hard. I've done a lot of 2v5 challenges. They're really, really easy, to be honest. 
having another person with you, but a 1v5 challenge, like, man, it is really hard. They just split on you so much. I think Axis needs to go bot. Oh, so you better start running. Better start running. This guy's dead. Maybe. Dude, at least fight me. If you're gonna split push all game, at least face your fears. I really don't want to ult for one kill. It's not worth it. Dude. I fuck it. Don't have ulti now, which really, really sucks. Maybe I shouldn't have ulted. I really just wanted to kill him though. Okay, we just hailed through this. Get the plates before I die. Get the one plating before it hits. Oh, we can't. No. Nice. And we get the tower. Huge. It's really huge. Wayne is coming down, I think. Yasuo's gonna be here too. Need my E cooldown. Got the shield. Nice. Okay. Winnable, it's winnable, it's winnable. Card is back now. Wait, I accidentally put way too many points in W, but it actually kind of saved me there. Actually, no, the shield doesn't- oh, I could've killed that guy. Oops. Whatever. Not worth the time investment. Gonna get our IE. Then, the 1v5, we, we already have enough damage, right? So, we want to get our tanky stats up. Sure. Gonna rush red buff. They're probably gonna get this dragon. Dragon doesn't really do anything, so who cares? We're fine if they get that. Built a huge lead. Should be easy from here. I mean, it's still not gonna be easy, but you know. Maybe we can. Be soloing? Yep. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. I'll take that. Now they don't have soul condition to worry about. Okay. The thing that's like disgusting about Yon is that he's pretty like okay when he doesn't have two items. But once he gets two items, guys, he is disgusting. He has like think about Zed. When Zed gets really bad, he could just R people. Yeah, think about that on a basic ability. You could just do that every nineteen. There. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. As I was saying, that's not how you use that E. That's. That's definitely not. Don't want to use it that way. Oh, stop splitting on me. But yeah, you have a Z ult on a 16 second cooldown. So, get your third Q, do E, go in, dead. And you just do that on repeat. Alright, we're gonna need to get these towers. This Yasser just keeps splitting though. Getting annoying. Basically at this point, since I'm such a snowball champion, if I get my third Q and they walk up at all, they just die. This guy, dead. Ooh, the red buff. I think we could outpush them. We just keep going. Don't think we can 1v5. Not yet, not yet. So their best option right now would probably group, yeah. I like this. Oh, we fucked up. Ah, fuck. 
Jesus. Every time we fuck up, they get really, really cocky. Really, really cocky. And they group up, and then the more people I hit my shield, the bigger the shield it is, so. Alright, now we back, we stop this Evelyn, we go for Herald, and we go mid, and we end the game. We got this. Making good time, good time. Yeah, I should be invincible now. I'm just getting two-shot everyone. Way too fed. And as you can see, our one death was calculated by getting the Herald off the map. So we didn't even have to die this game, but as a challenger player, I know that getting objectives worth the deaths. So. It was a tactical int. Now we need to make sure we get this. Don't steal it, because we don't have smite. We could steal it pretty easily. Alright, now we just go straight mid. The question is, when do we use Herald? Do we just use it on this tower? I don't think so. Ooh, I kind of want the red buff. But it's it's definitely gone, right? There's no way it's up. And... Alright, let's do this. Ah, uh, damn. We actually didn't kill anyone there, what the hell? Fuck, we got them so low. I feel like it's so hard to like, know where to use your ulti on there. Oh well. We got them away from the tower at least. Should've been better. Also, they're just going for the split push. Can we end here? Got one tower. Holly's down. Using one of their members to split push. Come on, we got this. Pick them off one at a time. Dude, it's actually a base race. What is this? Yo, Yasuo, you want to help your team? Actually, typical Yasuo player. Going for the slip push instead of helping the team out. Tisk tisk. And there we have it, the 1v5. Oh, that was a really good one. Alright, if you guys like the video, like, subscribe if you want more of these videos. Holy. And thanks for watching, peace.